What's the deal? This is your boy, Mr. Athletic, over everything, Jason Mike. And I want to weigh in on something that just took place. Uh, the home, the homie, uh, Big Julius, irregular strength, uh, just broke Kirill's all-time world record um, with a 335 kg bench press. That was a mark that I thought would never get broken. Um, and it's it's although Ray's record um, on squat is also one of those kind of records um, it's a record that Ray has been putting up with knee sleeves everyone else is doing in rap so uh, Ray's record is up there as well but I thought this one had a chance to stay the test of time mostly due to the fact of the standard in which Kirill did his world record and I think that's where the issue that we're going to have with today's lift um, I'm someone who bench presses a lot of weight. I've unracked 700 pounds before. I've benched 630 pounds before, and I've benched 620 in competition, all drug-free, but that's really not the point. Um, I'm saying that to say that I, I've had to try to control over 700 pounds at just lockout, and that is something to be admired and something that most people have never done. And watching the video today, I thought there were a bunch of fails on this particular attempt and not from the lifter. I think the spotters were too caught up in the moment. I believe um, the handoff coach was caught up in the moment, you know what I'm saying, to the point where people weren't realizing what was going on. But I understand the reason why um, the handoff guy and coach was so emotional and also so far away. Um, he was trying to make sure that his lifter got the fastest start command possible. Um, if you watch this particular meet, and not to knock or dog anybody who's done this meet, um, the refereeing has been all over the place. And that was especially coming from the squat. Um, I saw people getting red lighted for lifts that I thought were good, and I saw a lot of high lifts. Um, a bunch of squats that probably shouldn't have been um, called good were called good um, but nonetheless when it came to bench press I saw it seemed like the bigger guys were getting penalized or being held down a little bit longer and I, I kind of think that that's due to the fact that maybe because Kirill is the person who's the president maybe they put more emphasis on the bench being the fact that he has probably the most beautiful bench press of all time um, in terms of the fact that he's extremely long-armed, he's in full control, and control is a very key element of this bench press that I'm talking about today. Control is a very key element because that is something that Julius didn't have as much of. And when I say this is that maybe they put a little more emphasis on the lifters coming in today to make sure that these bench presses were done at a certain standard. Um, I, I've always, I've always remembered Kirill's bench being a lot easier and the pause command being a lot longer than what it actually was. I remember going back a couple of weeks ago just to look at it because I remember when Julius missed this, I thought that it was kind of preposterous maybe for him to even think that he can beat it or it would be in the same realm. But what I, when I looked at is that Kirill has far more control and far more pace and uh, it's a more beautiful lift. Uh, Julius is flat out more explosive. So when Julius was going to break this world record, it was going to be something that happened very quick, very explosive. Everything has to go right because when you're dealing with that kind of weight, a little left, a little right can take 700 plus pounds out of control really fast, as we saw today. So I would say that um, I believe that at some point in that lift, he locked the, that weight out. Now, for how long? I don't know. 
but as a person who's been on multiple sides of a um you had a bad call go against you they tell you to suck it up and just this power lifting you're gonna get good calls you're gonna get bad calls and i think this was one of those situations where if he would have got hosed on it people would have told him don't cry over it it's power lifting the calls are the calls now if this lift stands i also understand how people would be upset and say that it wasn't done to the standard of the current world record and i think that's where the main issue lies is the fact that Kirill, although that pause command that he had wasn't as long as this one he had control of the weight the entire time and with julius and the technique and style that he lifts in it's a little more uh uncontrolled his feet are kind of not, not settled a little bit he's a bigger guy so things are just moving differently so i think that's what's going to happen long term so i'm not 100 percent sure if it got overcalled. someone told me that it was overcalled, but i'm going to take the route of if the lift was called good you celebrate it as a world record and i know for sure that my brother wants to go and clean that up um and also if that would have been handled a little bit differently he could have maybe taken it again because there were a bunch of failures on that particular lift but that's just coming from me jason mike mr athletic over everything holla at your boy yeah